Hi everyone, Donut here. We're going to talk about shooty shoots in my hometown of San Antonio. Again, we talked about this video uncensored on my Patreon. I have a series on there now called Donut After Dark. There's six episodes up. I'm making an episode today so far. San Antonio has been in the news a lot lately. The incident that we're going to break down today was not in a McDonald's parking lot, and the officer who shot someone in this video had a little bit more of a reason to do it. You know, not just, that car looks familiar. Which, by the way, while we're talking about it, let me give you guys a little little bit of an update on what happened here in the McDonald's parking lot, the video that I made the other day of the 17-year-old being shot 10 times by the officer. The attorney of the 17-year-old who was shot by police released this statement. Sadly, Eric is still on life support for his lungs. He is currently fighting a high fever and remains attached to mechanical ventilation. We are grateful for your support, love, and prayers. Eric feels your presence. Please continue to believe and hope that our boy opens his eyes soon. If you haven't been keeping up with the situation, the officer actually turned himself in and was arrested. Nine days after the shooting, Brennan was charged with two counts of aggravated assault by a public servant, a first-degree felony, his bond was set at $200,000, and a hearing was set for November 23rd. He was charged with two counts because, if you remember, there was also a female in the car with the driver. Also, remember the San Antonio police came out and said, hey, he thought it might have been a stolen car? Well, it turns out it wasn't a stolen car at all. The police department sent an email to the news that says, we can confirm that the vehicle was not a stolen vehicle. The kid was legit just eating a hamburger with his girlfriend and got shot. So that's a, that's a big oof. Let's break down the new San Antonio shooting, but first, this video is sponsored by the United States Concealed Carry Association. Let's say someone attacks you or a family member and you rightfully shoot them in self-defense. Sad to say, there's a chance you're going to be arrested and drugged through criminal and civil court. The USCCA is basically justifiably shooting people insurance, and it only costs a couple bucks a month depending on what package you choose. They provide a 24-7 team of attorneys, upfront bail bond funding so you don't have to sit in jail, up to $2 million to cover your ass in civil court, and tons of other benefits like self-defense training. Go to uscca.com slash donut or click on the link in the description below. San Antonio, the coolest city on earth because all my friends are f***ing rad. September 18th, 8.50 in the morning. Police received a tip from a confidential informant that there is a robbery suspect wanted on multiple warrants who is wandering around the area of West Martin Street. I don't know where that is, but there's bars on the windows of the houses, so I'm assuming it's not a great area. Officers start patrolling the area and see a man who matches the description given to them by their CI. Two officers riding together stop and get out to talk to the man. Just a little, hey, you're not that guy that robbed the place, right? They don't immediately run up to old dude and say, hey, you been robbing my man? The officer walks up to the suspect and says, hey man, we're stopping you because you were riding your bike against traffic. And you can't do that. What's your name? Why, what does that matter, bro? I don't, why, you don't have no reason to pull me over. You're riding your bike the wrong way on the road. Oh, I just crossed the street, sir. Yeah, but you gotta follow, you gotta follow. Where I gotta cross, uh, tell me where I gotta cross. Is there's a, there's a, uh, somewhere where you gotta cross? That cop's a bit of a sneaky slut. Because this could possibly be a burglary or robbery suspect. He could have been doing all the felonies, so we gotta check and see who he is. Our suspect here doesn't want to give his name or show the officer ID, so the officer, plain and simple, says, hey, you're going to go into cuffs if we can't figure out who you are. The guy says, nah, starts to walk away, and the officer goes in to detain him. Do I got to go all the way to, to a corner? Uh, are you going to ID or are you going to go in handcuffs? It's up to you. Nah, we're not. We're not. Yes, you are. The man instantly starts resisting arrest, reaches towards his waistband, and says, I have a gun, and I'm going to shoot you. Do I got to go all the way to, to a corner? Uh, are you going to ID or are you going to go in handcuffs? It's up to you. Nah, we're not. We're not. Yes, you are. Oh. I got a gun, I'm gonna shoot you. I believe that statement is at the very, very top of the list of things you don't want to say to a fucking police officer. Fortunately, though, our SAPD boy here got mad squabbles. Well, you got mad squabbles, boy. After our suspect says he has a gun, he catches two right hooks to the jaw before the officer's body camera falls off in the struggle. I got a gun, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you. Guess what happens next? We hear gunfire. He shot the guy. It could have been because he was reaching into his waistband and saying he has a gun, he's gonna shoot the officer, but who knows? Oh, we know, because the other officer runs around the car to come help her partner detain the suspect and we catch it all on her body camera. Stop, stop, stop. 
The dude just keeps reaching into his waistband, so our initial officer fired three well-placed shots into the guy, instantly ending the threat to him and his partner. Our suspect here died on scene. It must have been a heart shot or he hit him in the head. The police department blurred it. I had to blur it too because YouTube things, but you can see the police department's version on Donut After Dark on my Patreon if you want to go over there for one dollar. So get this, the idiot didn't even have a gun or was wanted for robberies. The first time I saw this video, I was like, oh, I don't know if I got warrants. And he did, but it wasn't robbery. It was felony family violence, which is criminal domestic violence, CDV. He'd been hitting on people he shouldn't have been hitting on. Anyways, that's all I got for you fine, amazing, beautiful people today. If you want to help support the channel, you can go over to Donut After Dark now, the new series. You can go over to donutoperator.com and get some super sweet merch. I have new merch, by the way. My stupid ass cat is, is a sticker and a shirt now. Again, Squirt version three. Other than that, I love you all. I'm gonna go have a range day right now with Meat Canyon and Brandon Herrera and all my cool ass friends in San Antonio, greatest place on earth. Everyone, please have a fantastic day. I'm hungover. Whacker.